food industry has never been sexier in New Zealand. You know, from, from government endorsement, from our growth in exports, from what New Zealand is really good at doing globally, we're really great at making high quality food and exporting it. Um, you, can, you can look at a lot of the people who are around this conference and around the industry who have been all over the world with it and got some fantastic opportunities. There won't be a technology shift that's going to stop people eating food or using household products. Yes, there will be changes in those. As far as the potential, in 20 years' time the industry will look different, but the opportunities will be just as challenging. Whereas you may get some other industries that will take a technology shift that will take some careers right out of the picture. I think those who've got broader aspirations to move into leadership, it's the basic core leadership skills, the emotional intelligence. They do have to have better than average number skills and analytic skills. Um, if you don't have that, um, even if you're the most creative marketer around, you won't survive in FMCG marketing because you've got to be able to make the numbers work. So that's one of the challenges a lot of people like the creative and advertising side and I've seen a lot of graduates who say I wanted to get into strategy, I want to get into this. If they can't make the numbers work, if they don't have a good understanding of management accounting or the complexities around you know, supply chain challenges over time, they won't move through. I think a lot of the places for people to come in the industry have slimmed down um, as a lot of marketing departments and particularly multinationals have shifted offshore so have some of the gaps to bring graduates into. Um, and companies have been conscious if they recruit graduates in and they don't have a marketing pathway for them to follow, um, they may lose them early on, so therefore sometimes a lot of those firms have cut out recruiting graduates altogether. Um, then the argument goes, we need some great key account managers. The point I make to them is, well, how many graduates are you bringing on? And they say, none. I say, well, where do you think the key account managers are going to come from? Um, so um, there is that, that narrowing pathway uh, to come in that's really been cut um, by roles and departments being cut over time. So that's probably one of the bigger challenges I'm seeing is the talent pipeline is just that little bit narrower. It's a hose pipe now. One thing the industry's always been good at is its training and development. And often as markets tighten up, people spend less on training and development. And, and so keeping that spend up is one thing that's critical in retention because it's a lot easier to train people than it is to recruit them. The industry does have some unique factors. It's highly data driven more than any other, um, if you talk about the sales side, more than any other sales capacity. The sales process and working with the retailers, they're much more, um, much more information driven. There's particular tools around Nielsen or Aztec that are unique to the industry. And so those are hard to come in at a higher level without having built up the background on the way through. So there needs to be some more training and development around that side. The job you're doing now is the best one. And a mistake people often make at all levels is I'll perform okay in this one but I'll be really good in the next one because that's the one I really want to get. Well you never get that next one. The better quality companies have typically recruited graduates. Back in the um, 80s and 90s you came in as a graduate either into marketing or into finance. Now we have graduates coming into the industry in all sorts of disciplines uh, or needed in the industry in all sorts of disciplines across supply chain, um, across um, category management or otherwise who need to build those skills up. But also there's still that reluctance in the industry to recruit people from outside sectors uh, to bring somebody in who may come into a key account role who hasn't been in grocery before is pretty rare.